All right, guys, we're back here on the installation. We took a couple days off because we've had extreme cold. We got the furnace in here, the sun fire going, which is adding some heat, but it is still negative seven actual temperature out. They say the real feel like wind, end, wind index, wind chill is negative like 29 right now. So I'm glad we're not outside. What we're gonna try to do is now that we got, you remember that first wall we did, we just did, we've got all these scrap pieces. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start utilizing these because I wanna make sure that this works well before we rip the rest of these down in an eight foot manner. Remember I said we tried, when I did all the estimating, I figured it in four foot rips because all it would leave me was a piece this wide at the very end. So now we got all those eight footers in, I'm gonna take the cut off, cut it into strips and hopefully get left with hardly anything at the end. I should in theory just have a piece that wide on the end, which actually will reduce my waist from a four foot by four inch piece to just a 10 and a half by four inch piece, if it works well. I don't know how they're gonna stay in, but let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll fire this up and, uh, oh, and Greg's back. Yay, Greg's back. It's only been three weeks since he's been out here. What do you think? Yeah, that looks great. It looks looks like you did a pretty good job. Like I'd give it a, a probably a, a B, uh, let's get A minus. Yeah, because there's not really a whole lot more I could do, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, believe but. it or not, it's amazing how straight the girts were. There wasn't a lot of bowing going on, and they all fit in there. There was a lot of work, though. There were times where I needed you to push them in. There was one spot over here I saw where it kind of like bubbled out a little bit where it was tight, but. Oh no! Like just just in. wait, dude. There was some struggling going on. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire this up and let's see how she does. Hey, Greg, never use gloves on a cable saw. You notice, Greg, I've got the blade barely going through, so it doesn't fly all around. Oh, yeah, just go to a random bay, and let's just make sure that they fit in there nice. And more importantly, like how they fit together. Probably want to make sure we start it. Like, I, I think, well, yeah, push that all the way over there. I mean, I don't think I have a problem with that. No, as long as you got it tight. I think we could cut them a little bigger because these are small enough pieces that we can actually compress them, compress a, little them a little bit. I couldn't do it with the full eight foot pieces, but yeah, I think that'll work. I need like a one of those push sticks. There, so now that's our only waste, which is not a waste because we can just throw this in the attic. You know, Greg, it may be cold, but they always say the heat is in the tools, man. Just gotta stay busy working. No, the heat is in that sun fire. Yeah, that is true. That thing is... That thing is probably making it bearable. No! Are you serious? No! I hope it didn't just gel up on us. Why did you say that? <laughs> oh no, it, it, it powered out. I wonder if it got cold. Now that you got the heater off of it. I don't know, dude. It, it just, uh, is that? I think it was, <coughs> I think it was just cold. Or it turned off. So now what? Well, I'm thinking we probably plug that into the shore power and move that for our lights, you know? Yeah, this, this ain't bad, man. You know the hardest part about you not being around, Greg? Quietness. I'd say, Greg, we, these are all just gonna be standard, so I think we just put them in. Problem is we don't have a lot of room. We've, we've gone and stacked everything up on the outsides. Go right on the back wall and we'll just kind of burn, burn these all up and I don't know how, how far it'll go or take us, but. Ugh. What's that? Oh boy, that's tight. Oh boy. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Just, just take a board. And yeah, take a board and just hit it. There you go. Just keep going. 
maybe we went a little tight. I don't know. That might be a little bit tight. <laughs> You're not pushing that. Wait. Okay. I'm bigger, Greg. <laughs> I'm stronger. <laughs> I'm smarter. <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> See, but now once these are in, I think it'll be... Well, that one was kind of loose. Yeah, that's kind of loose, too. Huh. Yeah. Friction fit. Friction fit, my dog. Dude, we're just going to burn these all up, huh? Burn them. Burn them up. I mean, I would rather be tight because tight is right. You uh, know? Can I, get, can I get that uh, that board? Yeah, when I'm done with it. <laughs> we might need a couple boards. <laughs> there we go. We went too tight, buddy. We should not have cut them. You should not have cut them. I told you that. That's a little bit tight. But it was a good use of all these scraps and I think it just saved us a ton of waste. I mean, uh, it's not, you know, I don't think this has any issue having these gaps here because we've tightened them up so nice. And at the end of the day, we're just looking to add a little bit of thermal break, mainly behind the post, but we figured might as well do all these. So it's a good place to use up all the scraps. Got them. I'll, gra I'll grab another pile. So that's 20 pieces, so two more bays. Probably finish these two. Heck yeah. All right. Dude, we just, I mean, we utilize the crap out of those. That's the way to go. Minimal scrap, too. Minimal scrap, dude. Fourteen and a half of those. That was pretty easy. I mean, that's, that's how much coverage. We still have these. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one pallet, dude. We did pretty good. No waste. Like, literally, that is all the waste right there. And even then, that might be able to be used up top there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's... That's a good size? That's, or is it too loose? I think that's a great... Heck yeah. So, yeah, you just set her down, and then I'll feed it in, and you go to the other side, and you're gonna grab them, yep. Yep. Now what you have to do here, Greg, because it doesn't get all the way through, so then just take it like this. Come over here, bend it right on the edge, bend it, and then when you drop it, it comes right off nice. This is gonna be so much nicer having two people. And then I'll feed it, no, 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 just leave it on the ground, leave it on the ground. Yeah, you don't handle it. Actually, you do that and I'll grab my next one. Oh, the amount of time savings. This is gonna be legendary. Everything's easier with Greg, or just another person, I don't know. My, my daughter probably would have been better <laughs> than me by myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> sure. This has gotta be at least twice as fast. I wouldn't say any faster, but at least twice as fast. Upright or you lay them flat? Just lay them flat. Yep, just like that. Don't hit your pipe. Come on up. Actually, your weight will help this not fall over. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Just lean this way, okay? Just always be on this side. Oh, yeah. Bro, I fought this the entire freaking time. Well, I think we're, I think we're catching right there. You see that? No, it's just oh, all there. about, it's yeah. all. Okay, I'll get your, no, no, keep this out. Just get your yeah. end in. Okay, so here's what, here's the other option. Pull that out. Uh, I see. Yeah. 
Put yours in. Yeah. Here you yeah, go. She's she tight. And then we're going to pull this back. Right here. I'm going to push it, you pull it. Here, give me that, give me that, give me that. Ready? Yeah. Counter balance. No, we're safe. That's what you think. It's all you. You know, if I had that sweet table, but everybody's telling me that it's a waste of my time to use that table because I could just make a cut myself just as perfect, you know? Yeah. Even though it's not true, I'm not that good. Kind of, kind of cheeks. Well, maybe I am that good. Maybe I am that guy. You're not that guy. <sighs> oh, we got a problem. Uh-oh, what's the problem? I don't know if that's gonna fit. Oh yeah, I cut, yeah. In a perfect world, nah, it's not gonna fit. Let's freaking go. Nice. It's been a while since I've gotten to dab up my bro. It's been like three weeks. Literally haven't done it all year. It feels nice, but honestly, it's not that cold in here. I, did, I thought I'd be colder. You guys are obviously more than welcome to take your clothes off and warm up in my house. No, no. Don't take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, It's not very dark or bright in here, guys, but that's all I got. I'm just trying to be safe. Safety first. Okay, let's try it. Go to your uh, tighter spot. That's pretty tight there. We'll cut up a piece and then we'll adjust, Greg. Oh yeah, that's a little tight. Hmm. Also, let me get some of this. Spray foam chunks out of here. Oh, these knee pads are a lifesaver. In the built-in knee pads? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows what it's like to be the bad guy. Because this bottom gird is actually not going to be consistently the same dimension. Because it goes all the way back to when we did our brackets and we put these numbers on them that showed a different elevation. That difference in elevation was made up right here at the bottom of the bracket. But these girts are all consistent to our story pole, which is off of the, the heel of the truss. So this dimension right here will vary based on the dimension that these uh, brackets were set in elevation with the laser. So like this one says plus three eighths. What's that one say, Greg? So yeah, it's only a 16th of an inch, but this one is plus three eighths. So it's, it should be the same, <laughs> but regardless, over there we were what? Six and 16 and three eighths or something you said? So I'm just basically running a piece of scrap down. Greg is gonna run these and he can just holler at me if the, uh, if it gets a little tight or a little bit loose. That's pretty money though right there. I've messed with that. Here, let me just run one out here somewhere and see what you got. Yep. Yeah, I can mess with that too. I'm gonna run another one for you. Looks good though, keep it tight, keep it right. At least this stuff is forgiving enough. I don't feel like I'm gonna pinch it and have it shoot back at me and crack me in my groin area or something. It's pretty easy to push this. Obviously you don't wanna pinch it too hard, but it goes on the table saw pretty good. And this is just a standard, I think this is a 40 tooth in here. Just regular ripping blade, nothing special. I think, yeah, I think that's a demo demon. Yeah, that looks good, buddy. Here we go. Poor Dak. That, that one's kind of loose. Yeah, poor guy. Feels so bad for him.
try that one. That one's pretty good. So let's just go a hair heavy. Kapow. That's not, that's not my favorite knife, but I'll let you do what you want. All right, it's right here, it's right yeah. now. Just push down on it, kind of. No, like push down on this a little. Uh, there, there you go. And then don't cut the end, obviously. Straight, it. yep. That's a, that's a clean cut. Kind of like it grew there. What'd you cut them at? 16 and an eighth. No, you must have done like three eighths. Nah. I bet you that's what you did, three eighths. Rock wool golf. That's what we'll play next, Greg. Okay. You got enough room over there? Nope. I don't either. I knew that was gonna happen. Slide yours off, we'll slide them in. It was a good try. There you go. Save, save as much as possible. Okay. This is so whack. No, dude, this is this is ingenuity. This is gonna save us from having to. Uh... We could have had the whole pile slid over. Already. Nope. Uh, with my neck the way it is, I'd rather do a little bit of smart work than. I can't go. I can't get another one in there. Oh shoot. <gasps> oh, it's not. It's not. No, no. I'm just not. Uh, I'm not in the center. This is a bad idea. No, man. This is a great idea. Look at that. We just saved so much dang time. We're lucky because the way we did this, we should just be able to slide them right in, Greg, to that point no. every time. Oh, that's a little tight, though. Oh, how far? Oh, we need an inch and a half, dude. All right. One. Wait, wait. Got to pull it out a little. One, two, three. Got it. Two, three. Oh, dude, having mass behind it is everything it's inertia once you get this stuff moving it's good but the friction it's like if it stops mm -hmm. it stops it's game nice. over see what i was doing was i was throwing them in this way and then i was sliding them back uh. Ugh. Mm, that's a little loose that's fine and i don't want to i feel like i'm going to break those because it's so cold You're right Uh, I get cracked, but oh well, that don't matter. So 74 and let's say a half. Oh. What'd you measure? I don't know, whatever I told you. <laughs> doesn't seem right. <laughs> Did you mean 84, not 74? I don't even know, dude. I couldn't even tell you. Oh, I've probably seen seven foot four. <laughs> <laughs> 84 and a half. I seen that seven probably and didn't even read it. Seventeen and a quarter. Here you go, dude. Go use that table saw and get these ones all too, and then you can get, you know, you can be super efficient and do a really bang up job. Ugh. Man, I gotta go to the chiropractor. Yeah, probably. One, two, three. <coughs> I think we got it. About halfway? A uh, little, little bit. Oh boy. It's okay, if it cracks, it cracks. This especially probably is gonna be a little tight. Oh no. I was kind of worried that would be tight because of the uh, truss. 89 and 3 eighths. 89 3 eighths? Yeah, here. Eighty-nine and that's a real measurement. That was a good 89 one. 89 3 eighths, good yep. measurement. Ready? One, two. I think we just moved it. I felt I it. I felt it move. Yep. I've had dumber ideas. <laughs> it's not gonna go in. 
nope, we're gonna have to probably take one out and cut a little bit off. Oh well. You gonna come up here and help me, we can uh, probably get this top one that I can't get by myself. So when you have airspace in a cavity, the hot and the cold air will constantly be doing this. And that is where you get like hot to cold, hot to cold, condensation, condensation. So the hot air goes and warms up, condensates, gets cold, comes down, and then it, it just, that's the problem. Shove it in there, my guy. Like a glove. And we're just gonna, here. You need a board. Oh no, you shoved it in there? Yeah, I shoved it in there. Bro, I cut this one smaller for you. Oh, that's fortunate. You rip it out, dude. Get out of here. No, I don't want it in there. It's gonna leave now. We gotta get it out of there now. Man, you really. Oh, uh, you you really messed that up. There you go. You like that, didn't you? Yeah, that's better. You're such a hack. Such a hack. <laughs> Pretty sure it's gonna be okay. 16 and a 16. He can't hear me. Yep. A little loose there, but actually that's kinda. A little loose, okay, as long as it friction fits. Yeah, okay, it worked. Way. There you go, yep. Bro, that's upside down. Haha, <laughs> I don't care. They're all upside down. <sighs> Two more. It's a simple trick, Greg. It doesn't actually, it doesn't take any skill or knowledge. Everybody knew, everybody knew that from the beginning how to oh, do that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't teach yeah, nothing. I, I totally knew how to do that. Awesome, we got two walls done. And the thing is, so a lot of people assume that this is all the installation we're doing. No, we're going to be doing an R23 comfort bat in this bay. I was told that having these air spaces behind my bat is a not good thing. Therefore, that's why we filled this up something about convection in your wall cavity and the hot and cold air constantly doing this, which you don't want to do. You want to minimize that. Hence, filling up your entire cavity is always a good idea. That's one reason I don't like the thought of spray foam is because we have so much space behind our wall finishes for that air just to be constantly doing this up and down thing, which it will happen even though it's a heated space. The other thing is what you'll notice is this corner column is going the same direction as the wall behind me. It's not the same, as these walls right here. What that means is we have to actually do our end wall with comfort bat and comfort board so that we can do our Myrex into the post first. We thought about this after doing the last job with the Sega Myrex. It's gonna, I think, make our job a lot easier. Greg and I both agree. So we're gonna run our Myrex into the post, then we're gonna do our framing, then we'll do our comfort bat on this wall, then we'll run this Myrex in and have a nice clean joint to tape off. It's gonna save us, I think, a lot of effort because wrapping Myrex around the corner is a little bit difficult because you have to leave it a little bit loose for our two by girts that go on the walls. And this will allow us to make a nice tight corner. So I'm glad we got this done. Greg, it was definitely nice having your help versus doing it all myself, which was totally doable. I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, you know, but it was definitely a lot quicker with you. And now that this is done, this section down here, we can comfort bat that, Myrex it, and then we can come down this wall. So that'll be next, guys. That is kind of the start of the installation project. I actually don't know how much time we're gonna get on this kind of in a row. What was it today, 14, negative 14 we woke like, up? I think negative 14 when we woke up and it felt like negative 36. Yeah, so I'm not going outside and working because in the wind, it was like negative 30 wind chill. So coming in here, doing some insulation, great little side gig while outside is not very nice. However, that could change and it looks like it's gonna change next week potentially. So we might go back outside and the insulation might just, you know, sit here for a little bit. But I do know tomorrow, 
We're gonna be getting our good buddy Chris Jessen down, who is our rock wool rep. Cause he's like, yo, call me. I want to help sling some bags of rock wool. I think he's crazy. I would have just said good luck and come back and buy more product for me next time. But Chris is a good dude, so he's better than me. He's gonna come down and help us. Greg, are you excited for that? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm a little, a little bit excited for that. You have to lie to me. It'll you don't be nice care. to have a third guy. Yeah, it'll be, nice it'll be nice just moving the bags around. But so that's what we're gonna start next. But this is kind of the first step, getting the comfort board on, filling this cavity. And I'm really happy with the way all of our scraps went in here nice and tight. And I mean, performance wise, there's not gonna be an issue. So overall, nine out of 10, happy. I'm cold though. I'm ready to get out of here.